guys, welcome back. We made it to Florida finally. It's about 8.30 at night and we stopped at the grocery store before we came to our Airbnb just to pick up some water because I was so thirsty. Looking a little bit rough, but I'm about to take a shower and get ready for bed. But I wanted to show you guys the Airbnb before we get it all messed up and everything because it's beautiful. Actually staying at a resort, but all of the units have been like rented out as condos and turned into Airbnbs. And I'm in love with this. This one is newly renovated. So you walk right in and you have the bed area right here. The bed is so stinking comfy. I'm so excited to get a good night's sleep here. I think this is a king size bed. And then we go in here and there's a barn door into the bathroom here. The shower is so nice. On the other side of the bed, we have a TV in here. And then we walk down this hallway. We've got a sink over here. It's a cute little area. You walk down some more and we have a full kitchen, a little dishwasher on the other side there, a sink and everything, which is what really sold me on this one in particular because it has a full kitchen. We're gonna be here for a full week so I want to try to do a lot of breakfast and lunches here so that we're not eating out quite as much. It is so cute you guys with a big TV. Andrew's outside. I'll have to show you guys what it looks like outside tomorrow. I'm probably just going to shower and head to bed for the night. Kind of unpack a few of my things like my dresses, hang them up, lay out my jewelry, all of that stuff and head to bed. So I probably will see you guys in the morning. Good morning, you guys. It is now the next morning. Now I can officially show you the view. This is one of those things where it definitely looks a lot better in person because everything just looks a lot closer, but we have this little lake over here and there's like a road that circles all the way around it. There's a bunch of cute little shops down this way. We're gonna go and explore that now, but I just wanted to show you guys the view from my room and then you can see the ocean just beyond those houses. There's kayaks and paddle boards and all that kind of stuff. It is so beautiful. These houses are gorgeous. And I think a lot of them are also Airbnbs. I literally just woke up. So I think we're gonna go find a coffee shop and go get some coffee. We're gonna just like walk around this area. It's kind of stormy today. It's supposed to storm, especially later this afternoon. And there's actually a tornado watch today. So definitely not gonna be a beach day, which is fine because we gotta like unpack and get our groceries and stuff like that but i think we're gonna go on a little bit of a walk so here. we ventured over to rosemary beach which was only about five minutes from our airbnb and stopped at a local coffee shop called amavita and while we were down there we ended up taking a walk around the town because there's so many cute carriage houses shops and restaurants to look at the beach at rosemary is private but i'm sure if you're staying there you have access to it we ended up exploring our area which is carolyn beach we went back to our airbnb obviously getting very stormy so we just had a cozy afternoon settling in we went grocery shopping unpacked our suitcases and watched a movie for the afternoon but once the storm passed we went out to dinner at amici make sure if you go there to get there early because the wait time was an hour but it was so worth it this was hands down the best pasta i've had i got the homemade fettuccine with vodka sauce and italian sausage and i highly recommend stopping here Good morning. It is now the next day. I feel like every time I talk to you guys, I'm like crusty. It's the morning time. I'm still a little sleepy, but yesterday I was so bad about updating you guys throughout the day because I'm just trying to like balance living in the moment and enjoying my vacation. But also I really want to have these clips as like memories and share everything with you guys. So I'm going to try to be better about it today. Today we're going to the beach. It's sunny. Yesterday was very stormy. Today is a full beach day and I just grabbed some coffees. So I'm going to take Take these upstairs to our airbnb and sit on the balcony and enjoy my coffee and some breakfast andrew already made me some breakfast so cute we have eggs and a bagel with cream cheese the bagel looks a little burnt but we still love him <laughs> swimsuit is from Abercrombie. It's so cute. It's navy blue. And I'm going to put on this cover up from Amazon. I just got it in and it's so cute. It's like this little dress with these ties on the side so you can make it shorter or longer. I think this is at the shortest length. I have it bunched up as much as I can. So it is pretty long because I'm also 5'7 and it fits pretty well. I'm just going to throw on these Amazon sunglasses and we're ready to go. 
not too long ago i'm literally always gonna be hanging out here because it's just so beautiful it definitely got a little crispy but it felt so good to be out there it was still a little bit stormy from yesterday so there were a few waves we couldn't go out too far in the water but i'm gonna head inside and show you guys my full outfit i'm wearing this skims fits everybody bodysuit and it is so stinking comfy and really soft and i'm wearing these abercrombie shorts these are the curve love four inch ones and then i think my necklace is from h&m my earrings are from amazon i'm just gonna wear the same shoes i wore last night which are these little platforms from target and that's it i think we're just gonna go to like a casual restaurant nothing too fancy so i wanted to go super comfy before dinner, we went to Alice Beach. This town is so stunning and definitely a must-see. We walked around for quite a bit, looking at all of the gorgeous houses and just soaking it all in. It is absolutely gorgeous. Afterwards, we went to dinner at Shades Bar and Grill for some beer, and we both ordered the chicken tenders. It was so good. All of the sauces were house-made. We weren't quite ready to go back, so we drove over to Peddler's Pavilion, and they had a bunch of cute little shops and drinks and live music outside. And then we finished off the night walking around the neighborhood neighborhood by our Airbnb on Carolyn Beach. coffee run to raw and juicy in alice beach 10 out of 10 recommended i got an iced vanilla latte and it was so good we're definitely gonna have to go back to head off to the beach i have horrible looking tan lines but luckily that will get hopefully fixed today and i'm going to show you guys what i'm wearing today despite the fact that i look super crispy everything that i'm wearing today is actually from amazon this bikini comes all together for i think around like 20 25 dollars it's so cute it's bright orange and it has like an underwire here so i feel nice and supported and then the bottoms are just like the same it's like a ribbed material which is really nice and then this sarong comes in a pack of two there's a white and a black one for ten dollars they're just super cute to tie around your waist and i also got this little bucket hat that was only ten dollars my sunglasses are also from amazon we're gonna head down to the beach for some more sun i definitely need to put some sunscreen on hey guys uh it's her <laughs> husband today i'm wearing our <laughs> so rvca whoa rvca oh whoa wait matching boom boom <laughs> Where's the hat from? This one, I don't remember where I got it, but it's Brixton. Pretty okay, nice. okay. Gotta have the trucker hat. And this is from Target. Gotta say, quality. <laughs> we decided to make dinner here at the airbnb just to keep things easier and just have a night in so we've just been relaxing obviously took a shower after the beach always feels so good i just got ready did my makeup i did my hair i decided to do these little braids at the front i thought that would be cute i waved my hair with this little beach waver that i got just from like walmart i think just the bedhead brand we're gonna get a little dressed up and go out for cocktails tonight since we didn't have dinner out this dress is from amazon i haven't gotten a chance to wear it yet it still has tags on it i got it in a size medium and it has these ties at the bottom so you can adjust the length which i love this ruching right here is so flattering here Here's what this dress looks like on. It comes in so many different colors and it's so inexpensive on Amazon. And then I'm gonna wear these heels from Target. They look just like the Dolce Vita ones. And also a little purse from Target. Super inexpensive, but so cute. I think we're gonna go to a little restaurant in Alice Beach called The Citizen and it'll be a fun night. I seriously can't get over the location of our Airbnb. We're staying in places similar to that. So this is kind of like a resort inn. There's a swimming pool there, there, there. And I think one over there near a 
basketball courts, four swimming pools. I'm so sorry about that dog that has been barking. We walk around that way to go to the beach. So it's just so nice. It's a walk away. The beach is super private. Literally Memorial Day weekend, we were at the beach on a Saturday. There weren't that many people out. We also have beach chairs that are included with the Airbnb that are already set up on the beach for us. Highly recommend this place. I'll link the Airbnb down below, but there are so many other houses in this resort area that you guys can stay at. So incredible. We'll definitely be back. We're about to head out again. It's Sunday morning and today we're doing something a little bit different. We're going to St. Andrews State Park. Hopefully go kayaking there or paddle boarding. I've heard that the water there is really, really beautiful and blue, which it is here also, but I guess it's even more beautiful there. So we're probably gonna do that walk around, go on some trails, stuff like that. So I'm wearing this bikini from Billabong. It's one of my favorites. I am obsessed with this color. Then I'm gonna wear the same cover up that I wore the other day. I'm also bringing like just a change of casual clothes because we might stop off at the, a brewery in Panama City. So this is a little bit closer to the actual city itself, um, which we haven't been over to yet. I'm excited to do Something a little bit different today, and then tonight's gonna be super fun and just low key, and we're gonna hang out here. go to St. Andrews State Park, make sure you go early in the morning because we made the rookie mistake of going later and we were actually the last car to enter the park for the day just because of limited parking spots. So we got super lucky, but the beach was so gorgeous. The water was so clear and beautiful. After we spent the day at the beach, we drove around the park for a bit. We took a look at Gator Lake and I even saw an alligator sunbathing, which was really cool to see. I've never seen one out in nature before. There were a lot of trails that you could hike around but it was just so hot that we weren't able to do all that much all in all it was really fun it was beautiful we went back to our airbnb and we went to lake powell pizza which is a restaurant that was just below us on carolyn beach changed into a new swimsuit we like kind of rinsed off and then changed because we're gonna do a late night swim here and just hang out at the airbnb and ordered a couple pizzas so that we can have leftovers for the next few days too. And these look so good. We got Hawaiian pepperoni. I don't know why I feel like I have to whisper when I'm outside, but it is now Monday and another day. Last night was so much fun. We went swimming at night. The pools open until 10 p.m., which is the coolest because back home in our apartment, our pool closes at eight, which is kind of early. So we've never got to really do like a night swim. So we did that and then I just like went back and watched a movie and hung out and just had like a really chill night, which was very needed because we've been going out every night, but I'm wearing my Amazon active dress today. It's so comfortable. We're gonna go for a little bike ride in Rosemary Beach this morning and probably over to Alice Beach so we can go back to Raw and Juicy because their coffee there is so good. And I'm just bringing my belt bag today. This is gonna be so handy for bike riding because I feel like with a big purse, it's always such a struggle when you're trying to ride your bike. So having this is gonna be so nice for that. And then I just have my hair up in a little claw clip that I got from Amazon. I don't know what's going on with this little pimple here, but I'm feeling so refreshed. I don't think I've been this relaxed in such a long time. And it's just really nice to have a very slow vacation. Just feeling good. Lots of sun, time in the sun. Probably gonna end up going to the beach, of course, later and just hanging out for the next couple of days. <laughs> Okay, bye.
bike riding was so hot. It was so sweaty, but it was also fun because we picked up the bikes at Peddler's Pavilion and then we just biked them all over the towns like Rosemary and Alice Beach. It's really nice because you can easily get from beach to beach. You can even walk there and just see all the different towns. Now we're back. We have our bikes locked up because you can only rent them for a day. You can't do hourly. So we just locked them up in Rosemary Beach and then we're probably going to go back for like a sunset evening bike ride and we stopped at Publix to get a few more beach snacks and water and now we are going to head over to the beach. So I just had cold leftover pizza and some watermelon for lunch. I'm going to wear this bikini bottom which is billabong and it's so fun because it's reversible so you have this like little tropical pattern or I can go with leopard prints. I'm gonna wear the leopard print side with a basic like triangle black top that I got from Target. This is the Kona Soul brand in a medium. My tan lines are so weird still from the first day and I obviously need to be better about putting sunscreen where my bikini hits like underneath the band because every single day I keep getting burned like that. I'm gonna put on this little sarong from Amazon. Oh, that's cute. It's gonna be so cute. I love these. They're so inexpensive too. And they're just so nice because it's so hot when we walk down to the beach. It's like a five minute or maybe even less, probably five minute walk down to the beach. And it's just so nice that like we don't have to get in the car or anything. I'm gonna put my hair up with just this little hair tie. Oh, there's a beach fit. I always wear my Birkenstocks down to the beach and we're just gonna hang out there for probably a couple hours it's a little bit later today since we biked this morning but we've definitely gotten plenty of sun as you guys can already tell <laughs> look at our view and everything because this is technically our last day I guess yesterday was our last day because it was our last full day I did not end up vlogging yesterday because I was just trying to enjoy it and we were pretty much doing the same old thing kind of nice because our bike rental was a full 24 hours so we locked up our bikes overnight and then we went back to Rosemary and rode for the morning again grabbed coffee same old same old got ready for the beach hung out on the beach there was a little afternoon evening storm and then we were planning to have like one dressy nice night out we wanted to go to La Crema and Tapas in Rosemary Beach but there was a three hour wait so that did not happen but before we went down there we got all dressed up went down to the beach and we set up a tripod and took photos and I highly recommend like it's like slightly awkward for the first bit it was like so worth it because the photos turned out so good. Well, what is going on with my hair? We just ended up getting some ice cream and listening to live music again in the same area that we did a couple nights ago. And we just packed up and now we're getting everything ready to go to leave. We have to leave in about like a half an hour. Today, before our flight, we have to get to the airport to return our car by three o'clock. But before our flight, we're gonna go to Seaside and kind of check out that area first and kind of just do a last minute tourist thing. I'm really sad that it's our last day, but I'm also, I really miss Topper. So it's time to go home. was just 20 minutes from where we were staying in another beautiful town full of really cute shops. We had so much fun looking around in the stores. I feel like Seaside was the best town for shopping. And then for lunch, we tried the famous food truck Airstreams. I got the five cheese grilled cheese and Andrew got the Wagyu beef hot dog. And we felt like the food was good, but it wasn't our personal favorites of the trip, but still a really fun experience. After exploring Seaside, we went back to Rosemary for a bit. We had a little bit of extra time before our flight to enjoy just a little bit of last minute sightseeing. <laughs> 